Hello everybody on Lightning Flash and today we are going to be cloning this chestnut tree with some chestnut cuttings. As you can see this is a great specimen for cloning. Most American chestnut trees only get about four or five years old before they blight. This one, as you can see here's some, here's a healed canker right here. Here's another healed canker. I mean it, it has a bunch of cankers that are starting on it but it seems like when they're starting they keep um, healing. So this makes this a great candidate for cloning. And we could prove this is a, we won't be able to prove that this is um, blight tolerant by the cuttings. If the cuttings blight immediately, then we know it's just the environment it's in. Okay, let's get to it. It makes it a lot easier when you have someone to help you hold it. So we're gonna cut this off probably right, probably right there. You wanna, no, right, right here. You wanna pencil size um, width and you want one about six inches long. So that should do us two or three. All right, we got, we got it ready to cut. You gotta cut it about, well, about right there, I guess. So pause that once I get it down and then see you in a minute. Okay, so we got it off. We'll have to um, trim this bottom because you want a clean the focus you want a clean cut on it or it will not be able to root out i'll have to save this one limb and this will be probably one section probably another section out of this you're supposed to have it like pencil width which this is maybe this is a little more than pencil width so we'll have to get most of them out of this limb right here we get multiple out of this one there's enough here to do probably five cuttings this is the first time doing this hopefully this works because this specimen right here is very, very good for um, cloning. So hopefully this works out and we can get more of these trees. I can't even get the tree in the frame. Hopefully this works out. And maybe we'll collect another few cuttings. I just wanted to one more time show you the um, tree in a full frame. Very, 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 very rare to find one this size. I've said that in every video that I've talked about it, but I've never seen one this size in person and most of you probably haven't either. That's why this tree is so special and hopefully we can prop eh, propagate some of the cuttings off it. Well, we got a lot of cuttings here. Um, I didn't think these limbs were that big till we got them down. It said pencil size for the cuttings, but I think as long as you have growth from the last year, it should be fine. So we could probably get um, 10, 10 cuttings off of this we'll see what happens probably might be doing this all wrong but hopefully this works because i don't know how long that tree up there is going to hold out okay guys so what we're going to do is we got our pots right here we're going to take our um cuttings we're going to dip them in this rooting this rooting hormone and we're going to stick them in the pots so let me get this rooting hormone open and i'll be back in a minute Okay, so now I'm going to stick my cutting in some water. And now that it has some dampness on it, we're going to take it and get it in here. I'm going to tap it off. Should be good. Now just, I guess we're just going to stick it in like that and hopefully that didn't take too much off. Now basically just do the same thing. I don't really see any um, knowns, whatever they're called, on these, so I don't know if these are going to do anything. The smaller ones seem to have a lot, but on chestnuts, it seems to be harder than anything else because these are what you're supposed to have, I think. If anyone can give me pointers in the comments below, please, because I don't know what I'm doing. This works, it works, and it doesn't, it doesn't. Just gonna do this like so, stick it in here. Okay, so we got them all in the pots. Definitely give me pointers on how I can do this better. These may be too small, but they seem more viable than these because there's no um stems on these like at all. So I don't even see how you do it with um chestnuts. Definitely give me pointers in the comment section below. 
Well, that's it for this video, you guys. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. And don't forget to keep it electrified. I'll see you all later.